This is a fully modded PES 2021 on PC. It is a beautiful game about the beautiful game. When you combine these graphical mods with gameplay that rewards patient manual passing of the ball as well as momentum-based dribbling, you end up with the best football gaming experience money can buy today. Can I trust you? The gameplay is given more depth when selecting the best set of tactical options that fits your players. And I'll be making my next video about that, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. But this one will be all about the mods. This is how the game looks by default. It looks like, well, a video game. But when I switch back to the modded version, it looks more like a generational console leap. So let's rewind that. Here you have a custom broadcast camera angle for Stamford Bridge, which is a custom stadium modded into the game, with a custom fog weather effect, custom grass, a custom scoreboard that has custom fonts, custom boots, custom keeper gloves, and a custom ball. Before I get started, I need to address the misconception that PES needs a powerful PC to run with all those mods. I am getting over 90 frames per second on a 3 year old laptop, with a mid tier GPU and CPU that are both 3 generations behind. PES is by no means a power hungry game on PC. In this video, I'll go through the top 10 mods exclusive to PC, so I'm excluding kits and team logos simply because they're also available on the PlayStation, although the PC version takes it a step further with competition-specific badges for some extra authenticity. And no, I never use gameplay mods when playing PES, but you can stick around for the after credits if you want to listen to some of the audio mods that completely transformed the game's atmosphere. These mods are mostly from EvoWeb's forums, and while I did upload my entire folder and shared it with those who helped keep the channel alive, they're all 100% free, and I've linked the individual mods to the video's description. I've also ranked the mods according to their influence on the overall look of the game. For instance, mods on the top of the list can be seen almost the whole time from any gameplay camera, while those at the end of it can only be seen on close-ups. And now to the top 10 visual mods for PES 2021. And at number 10 we have Boots. There's not much to say here. I use Gabri's boot assignment who updates the mod on an almost bi-weekly basis. They're at number 10 because you can only make out the colors from a distance, but they make your replays look a whole lot better. At number 9 we have Faces. No, there is not a single mod that will make the faces look as mind-blowingly realistic as FIFA 21 on the PS5 although they look a little better on replays. Nonetheless, it's a nice option to have on PC until next-gen PES is out. At number 8 we have Balls, and I think everybody at this point uses Hawk's Ball Server, which comes with a whopping 400 high-quality balls linked to over 30 competitions. Again, you can't see it from the gameplay, but when you're constantly shifting between several competitions in a season, it makes your replays feel more special with the correct ball hugging the net which you can also edit on the PC too, by the way. So now when you're destroying Swansea in the FA Cup, you can do it with the FA Cup ball and accurate net colors. At number 7, this is kind of a big one. Tight Kits is a mod that fixes Konami's baggy kits, which makes all the players look fat. I mean, look at how fat Salah looks on this gameplay view, and compare it to the modded version over here. Honestly, it's embarrassing we needed a fix for this in a football game that's been around for so long. You'll notice this mod a little more on replays, so from this point on, the remaining mods on the list can clearly be seen all the time in gameplay view. Which brings us to number 6, TV scoreboards which have been a staple of the PC version of PES for over a decade. Scoreboard server will switch to the correct scoreboard depending on the competition you're playing. And they keep getting better each year, with Twitter hashtags and whatnot. Again, they are nowhere near FIFA's level since EA owns all these TV licenses, but they get pretty close, especially when you pair them with the correct font mod as well as matching team logos. And honestly, 
When you're hopping between different competitions, it's nice to be able to look up any time and know exactly which one this match belongs to, especially when it's a different domestic competition with a team you also face in the league. But you know what? Maybe we'll find a more stylish way of knowing the competition. That's right, at number 5, video ad boards are a personal favorite of mine. Video ad boards might be the most difficult mod to make, and there are very few modders like Predator on EvoWeb's editing forum who generously dedicated their time to make competition-specific and team-specific video ad boards for most teams in the game. I absolutely love them, and I don't mind at all being occasionally distracted by them. I mean, look at the cute Vitality Dog chasing the ball. At a whopping 14 gigabytes, not many packs will contain video ad boards, and it's also a pain to install on Cider, since you'll need to download around 8 large files, decompress them, then use CPK on Packer to extract them in a specific order into the same folder, then link them into Cider. But it's well worth the installation effort, and makes the most mundane of games a real pleasure to look at. I mean, compare the static custom ad board to the video version of the same ad, and if you're real lucky, the words will sync with the action. Now of course, the lower the angle, the more you get to appreciate them. But even in a high view, and in a perfectly licensed stadium like the Emirates, just look how it comes to life when real video ad boards are introduced. Speaking of stadiums, they might be the number 4 on this list, but I'm pretty sure it tops the wishlist of most console players out there. With over 600 stadiums modded into the PC version of PES 2021 from both divisions of most countries in the world, this alone might be the reason I'm not too excited about switching over to the next-gen version of PES. Now yes, Unreal Engine 5 stadiums will probably be on a completely different level in terms of shading, textures, ray-traced lighting, and whatnot. But given the fact it takes several months to build just one stadium from scratch in Unreal Engine, We'll have to wait for modders to do their magic and find a way to convert those hundreds of stadiums to work in Unreal Engine for PES 2022. At number 3, you knew what was coming. You've probably been asking yourself, why does the gameplay look so good in my videos? Is it because I use full manual controls to find my way around the pitch, steering away from the scripted on-rails passing and dull assisted shooting, that plague our soccer gaming community? Maybe. I mean, yes, it's hard to learn manual controls, but it's even harder to play full manual with a realistic broadcast camera angle, especially when it comes to manual crossing and shooting at a low angle. But on the other hand, the skewed perspective makes scoring other goals easier even with full manual controls. And with a little learning persistence, you'll be spraying manual passes all over the pitch and you'll be enjoying it all unfold in a beautiful realistic broadcast camera angle. Out of all the mods mentioned in this video, the camera mod is the only one I made myself, using tools provided by Misa24 and Juice. I've linked to both my EPL and La Liga broadcast camera videos for more information on the process. Console gamers have all the right to be angry at Konami, because there is no reason this should be exclusive to the PC version, and I have no idea why the broadcast camera is uneditable in the game. Using Juice and Nisa's tool, not only can you change the height, zoom level, pitch, and angle of the broadcast camera, but you can actually make that setting specific to each stadium so you don't have to manually change it every game. Please find this video on my Twitter and retweet it at official PES, telling them to make the broadcast camera editable next year. PES videos can look a ton better online, especially with the beautiful gameplay they've worked so hard to develop. If only console gamers were able to use stadium-specific broadcast camera angles for their videos. It would be even better if Konami allowed us to use and edit the broadcast camera they developed for summer plays, as it dynamically zooms out and in according to the context of the action unfolding on the pitch. For example, the modded broadcast camera fails to show Trent taking this glorious free kick, but the replay broadcast camera cleverly zooms out and back in. Now if you're sitting here thinking there's a reason other than the broadcast camera that makes this gameplay look so good, you'll be right. At number 2, we have the weather mods I've been using throughout this video. Jeremiah Asoba watched real footage from various leagues in the world and was remarkably able to replicate the fog effect seen on most winter games, and it's astounding how big a difference a little fog can make in the game's on-pitch presentation. He's still tweaking it every day, so I'd make sure to subscribe to Jeremiah's channel, linked in the description, so we don't miss it when it's out. The absence of fog by default doesn't make sense, 
since I remember seeing it four years ago in PES 2017. But looking at the unmodded game, Konami didn't just mess up the fog. Modders like legendary stadium builder Gavi83 were able to tweak basic things like sunlight, giving sunny days a more realistic look with better shadows and deeper contrasts. I mean, let me switch back to the default sunlight with its weak shadows and switch back to compare it to the modded sunlight. Different countries and times of the day are given a different sunlight warmth profile. So this is how a clear summer game at noon in Brighton looks like, compared to a daytime winter match at Craven Cottage. You'll also notice the low angle changes the color we perceive the grass to be, which brings me to the number one item on my list. It dominates every frame in every shot. Grass is the single most important, most dominant graphic in any football footage, whether it's gameplay view or a close-up replay, where you get a more detailed view of it. Grass can make or break the look of any football game. Just like sunlight and fog, grass is not licensed, so there is no excuse for how bad the default grass looks in this game. Using Chuni's graphics mod, mixed with files from Endo's pitches, and colors from Makidan 14's Frostbite mod, Captain Blunt taught Jeremiah Asoba how to edit the grass. Jeremiah watched highlights from every stadium in every major league in Europe at both times of day and edited the grass color and pattern to match the real ones on TV. That's right, it took five modders to get grass to look that good in my footage. It's a monumental effort that should have been done by the game's developers instead. Jeremiah's work is pretty much the reason this footage looks so good. Using this mod, you'll notice how fog can cause the pitch pattern to realistically fade away in low views. But then it fades back in when using a higher angle even when it's foggy. This gives every camera angle and weather condition a unique look so almost no two games look the same. So with the top 10 wrapped up, Here's a few honorable mentions you might consider adding to your game. There's Hawk's small detail mods, which replaces items scattered in the stadium with more realistic versions, like water bottles and camera crews. He also made a mod that improves dirt patterns and muddy conditions into something more realistic, and it actually looks pretty neat. There's a cutscene mod that changes up the stagnant cutscenes Konami never bothered freshening up all those years. There's the intro server mod, which adds a short video when you switch competitions mid-season, which honestly makes the switch a whole lot more interesting. And of course, you have corner flags, which are stadium and competition specific, as well as accurate trophies in your finals. And finally, there's all the pandemic mods with no crowds complete with audio by Predator that mimics training sessions for a quieter game of football. In my last video, I discussed how to easily score corner kicks, so check it out, stick around to listen to some of the modded chants in the game, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>